What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Steelers Training Camp Rewind. Today here live in Latrobe from St. Vincent College. Not much happening today here. A light practice starting to install some things for their game tomorrow against the Houston Texans. And that's more about what it was today. It was more of an implementation. You know, you saw some things that I think you can expect tomorrow. For one, I think you can expect Dan Moore Jr. and Broderick Jones to be the starting left tackle and right tackle respectively. Troy Falatano was working exclusively with the second team. So it seems like that will be your starting tackle duo. I also think with Isaac Sayamalo out, we will see Spencer Anderson slot in at left guard. We will see Nate Herbig at center. So we will not see the rookies start. We won't see Zach Frazier start. We might see someone like Mason McCormick start to work in a little bit. But we probably won't see these guys do a ton. Now, I am interested to see if they do some flipping of Broderick Jones. He didn't really know, we talked to him today, where exactly he would play. Would he play left tackle, right tackle? He said they hadn't really communicated that with him, but Mike Tomlin did say yesterday that he expects in games, they will see Broderick Jones at both spots. So it certainly seems like it's possible we'll see Broderick Jones play left tackle and right tackle. Sounds like the Texans are gonna play their starters for about two series, unless the first series goes so well, they don't need to see them anymore. So it certainly seems like these guys will have a chance to show what they can do on the offensive line. In terms of other things that I noticed today, lots of outside zone. I don't expect the gap stuff we've seen the past few days in pads to really show up all that much. I expect the Steelers to do a lot of outside zone, inside zone duo stuff. They're bread and butter for what they do uh, on the offensive side of the ball, specifically in the run game. So... Outside zone go brr, I guess. I guess that's what it is um, with Arthur Smith because you know how much he ran it last year, 54% of the time. So it was not a shock at all to see that. Another thing that I think we're really going to see tomorrow is these slot corners really battle it out. For one, Beanie Bishop, slated to be the starter, really looking forward to seeing him against guys like Tank Dell, Stephon Diggs, and Nico Collins. It's a really talented wide receiving room that the Steelers are gonna be facing tomorrow. So they will learn a lot about their corners, the depth corners. Ditto for Corey Trice and Darius Rush. I think they'll find out a lot about those guys. But I'll shout out another guy in this slot competition that I just don't think is getting enough love. Grayland Arnold, man. Got a pick today on an errant ball from Russell Wilson. Um, again, very light walkthrough, so not much, but he made a nice break on it. So credit to him. Um, and Russell Wilson was kind of off what he was trying to throw to Jacob Copeland. That's not two guys that you see working together, but definitely Graylin Arnold taking advantage of that. And credit to Graylin Arnold. He's done a nice job. I think that's his third pick of training camp, and he missed about a week with a hamstring injury. So Graylin Arnold doing a really nice job here of kind of getting his name into the conversation for Slough Corner. Could they keep two on the opening day roster, and could he be the second of those two? I don't think you can rule that out. I also think one more thing that we're going to see a lot of is Justin Fields letting his legs rock. I think we're going to see, you know, read option. We're going to see a lot of maybe quarterback power. We're going to see different things that allow Justin Fields to showcase what he can do with his legs. We are going to see Justin Fields unleashed tomorrow. I do believe that. And so I'm interested to see where things go with that. Uh, and we'll, we'll finally kind of get to see how Justin Fields looks in person, in a Steelers uniform, doing the full thing when he is able to be tackled. I'm really excited to actually see that. You've seen it in Chicago, but I'm interested to see it in the confines of this offense and in Arthur Smith's vision. So we will see about that short Steelers training camp for everyone today because just not a lot to go over of a light, with a light practice. Folks, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow. So Steelers, Texans, coming up.